An average of 30 threats a week to schools across the country. Now that's according to the National Association of School Resources officers. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall is sharing new recommendations for how schools should handle threats. Sorry, it makes me emotional even thinking about it. The words are hard for Melissa Stokes, a proud mother. One of my son's biggest fears was a school shooting. And um, obviously it happened. She's recounting the moment shots were fired outside of a Lawrence Central basketball game back in December and the lasting trauma the incident has had on her teenager. My son has not stepped foot in high school. Um, he quit the basketball team, which my kid eat, drinks and sleeps basketball. It's incidents like those that have striked a fear inside of her. Something's not right. Something's not right when our babies are not safe. And when people are, you know, burying their kids on a daily basis because they did something as simple as sent them to school like they're supposed to do. It's the harsh reality Stokes says is hard to grapple with. School shootings and even more threats made daily. In fact, the National Association of School Resource Officers, or NASRO, say an average of 30 threats a week are made across the country. They want to disrupt. They want to cause panic. They want to cause fear in our community. It's one of the reasons their latest recommendations call for school districts to mitigate a threat before disrupting class if possible. How specific is it? Um, is it a specific threat? Does it have a specific time? a specific location. And in many instances, Mac Hardy with NASRO says the threats are hoaxes, but says moving students could inadvertently put them in more risk. How do I know that when I send them outside of the school building, that's a safer place than staying where I'm at? He says it could even cause unnecessary emotional stress on anyone involved. But some parents like Stokes disagree with the recommendations and believes it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, there are a lot of hoaxes. Absolutely. But look at the world we live in right now. How would you feel if you're a resource officer and you're like, eh, let me just pause. Let me not. And that's your kid that gets blown up in a possible school bombing or a school shooting. Nazro does say every threat should be taken seriously, which is why it's important to move quickly when schools receive them. In Indianapolis, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV.